Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this. Well, not this specific lens, but prime lenses in general, and why I think every photographer and slash or filmmaker should consider investing in a good prime lens. So let's roll that intro and get right into this. First order of business, let's quickly establish what a prime lens is, uh, because some of you out there might not know it. So a prime lens is basically a lens that you cannot zoom on. It features a fixed focal length, something like a 24 millimeter or a 50 millimeter or an 85 millimeter would be prime examples of that fixed focal length. This lens here in my hands is actually the Sigma 60 millimeter, so again, a prime lens, f2.8, that somebody on Instagram actually recommended to me, so thank you for that because this is an awesome lens. So this lens is a veteran. It's, it's older than many of my friendships because it was released all the way back in 2013 and it was actually discontinued earlier this year by Sigma in 2019. So getting my hands on this was not the easiest thing, but it arrived in the mail a couple days ago and I've been using it a lot since then. And it just reminded me yet again how fun prime lenses can be. So now that we got this out of the way, let's actually talk about the three reasons why I think you should consider buying a prime lens. All right, so reason number one is actually the price. So prime lenses are cheap. Of course, cheap is a relative term. Nothing in the filmmaking and photography industry is cheap by conventional standards. But if you don't want to break the bank with a new purchase, then a prime lens is a really good option. The reason behind this is actually very easy to understand. You get less for your money on the one hand, so this is a fixed focal length lens. You can't zoom, so obviously a zoom lens offers you more versatility and because of the build structure of zoom lenses, there are more layers of glass in there, so it makes the entire manufacture of zoom lenses more expensive compared to prime lenses. So prime lenses will cost the manufacturer less to make and so they will be able to retail it to you for a smaller price. So basically, if you are on a budget or you just don't really know what you wanna buy, so you don't wanna make a huge investment, purchasing a prime lens is one of the best things you can do because the price value on these things is absolutely amazing. All right, reason number two is also a huge one and that is the better image quality you're getting out of prime lenses. This has a little bit to do with how these are built as opposed to zoom lenses where there's more layer of glass and there's a bunch of fancy stuff going on inside the lens in order to allow for the zooming. But these are much simpler and for that reason they produce sharper images and the distortion is usually kept also to a minimum. So uh, this is something that I can totally vouch for. For the past one year I've been using exclusively prime lenses and I can absolutely 100% attest to the fact they produce sharper images than zoom lenses. All right, so the third and final reason why I think you should consider purchasing a prime lens has nothing to do with the build quality or the manufacturing process, but instead has a lot to do with what prime lenses will do to you as a photographer. And I thoroughly believe and I've experienced that prime lenses can make you a better and more creative photographer. So let me explain that because that sounds really weird, right? Why would a piece of gear make you a better photographer? Gear doesn't matter, right? And that is true in that specific interpretation, but the fact of the matter is if you own a zoom lens, sometimes you can become lazy. So what that basically means is, is that when you have a zoom lens on your camera and you go out to take photos, that zoom lens is going to give you too much freedom. It's going to liberate you from a lot of things and a lot of responsibilities that you as a photographer have. If you don't like the composition you created, you can just zoom out to showcase more of the background or you can zoom even more in so that you really isolate the subject. Basically, from the same vantage point, you can create absolutely different photos because of the fact that you can zoom using your lens. Obviously, with a prime lens, that's something you cannot do because you cannot zoom. So if you are not satisfied with the composition you've created initially, you have to physically move around. So you either need to get in closer proximity of the subject you are trying to photograph, or you need to move further away from the subject in order to capture a different angle or a different perspective. So if you shoot a lot on prime lenses, you're going to start noticing that instead of taking the lazy way out and taking the shortcut, if you will, you're going to move around and by moving around you might discover something about that scene and about that perspective that you just didn't see before and in turn 
prime lenses can yeah make you a better photographer and that's again something i can vouch for i've been taking a lot of photos on prime lenses for the past year now and i think i became a better photographer obviously there are a lot of other things playing a role here but but this is one thing and the only thing that has consistently been in my life for the past one year the fact that i completely switched from zoom lenses to prime lenses and and for that reason i think my photos are a little bit more creative and finding the right composition that i want to capture became a little bit easier ever since i started using these guys so yeah now does all of this mean that prime lenses are superior to zoom lenses and you should never ever buy zoom lenses again absolutely not Zoom lenses and the versatility that they offer are absolutely essential if you want to succeed in certain areas of photography. Wedding photography is a really good example of that because there every single moment counts and you cannot afford to be switching lenses or camera bodies and lenses in order to capture a moment. You need to be quick on your feet and you need to capture every single moment as they happen, when they happen, because guess what? If you miss the moment in a wedding, then that moment is never going to repeat itself and you've just lost a great photo because you didn't have a zoom lens. So zoom lenses are absolutely necessary to succeeding in certain areas of photography, but if you are not a wedding photographer or an even photographer, if you don't have to hurry, then prime lenses are just as good and yeah, they will make you a slower photographer, certainly, but, but in some cases, the speed with which you take your photos doesn't matter at all. Alright guys, so that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, most importantly, follow me on Instagram because that's where you can see my own photography and that's where you can connect with me the most easily. So if you have any questions, just want to talk to me, hit me up on Instagram and I'm going to get back to you as soon as I can. And until the next time, peace. This lens. I knew that was gonna happen, but still, what the hell is this? Sigma, I need answers, and I need them now.